Welcome to this video, which should guide you through how IEEE online courses work. You should receive an email containing a link to log into your course, plus a user ID and password. In the email, right click on the hyperlink and select Open in New Tab. What you see here may vary according to the type of computer, browser, and operating system you're using, but the principles throughout this video will be the same. The login page should open in a new tab. Click on the tab for your email again and select the user ID. You need to make sure that there is no space either before or after the text you select here, as any spaces may cause problems when you try to log in. Right click and copy the text. Back in the course control panel, paste the user ID into the upper box. Go back to your emails again and select the password, again being careful not to include any spaces. Right click and copy. Clicking on the course control panel tab again, paste the password into the lower box, then click the red login button. You should now be in the home page of your course control panel. Read the information on this page carefully, as it explains how the course works. You then need to click on the instructions tab in the red bar at the top. Again, it's worth reading through this information in detail so that you know what to expect during the course. Bear in mind that the instructions may not be exactly the same for your course, as specific details vary. The next step is to have a quick read through the introductory unit before making a start on the course. The units are in PDF format and are available either within your control panel or to download. Firstly, you can read it online from within your control panel. Clicking this button next to the unit will open the PDF directly below the header. You can navigate from page to page by clicking the arrow buttons to the left and right. You can also read the unit in full screen mode by clicking this icon in the bottom right hand corner. Bring the document back to its previous size either by clicking the escape button or the icon here. You may want to download the unit to your computer so that you have a permanent copy. You can do this by clicking download at the side. This will open a new page where you can download the file by clicking the icon at the top. This will download the file to the folder on your computer where your downloads are usually saved. Having reviewed the instructions and introductory unit, you should be ready to make a start on the course itself, which will mean reading through the first unit. As with the intro unit, click Read Online next to Unit 1. Once open, read the contents thoroughly. Take your time with this. You may want to print out the unit so that you can read a paper copy and make notes. How to study is up to you. Once you feel you have grasped the contents, you should work your way through the task sheet at the end of the unit to reinforce the ideas covered. To do this, you will need either to work on a copy you have printed out, or retype the tasks in a new document and answer them there. After working through the task sheet for the unit, you should be prepared to take the unit test. Go back to the top of your control panel and click on the test tab. As you can see, this takes you straight to the unit one test. How you work through the test is up to you. You might want to read all questions first before starting, or you may prefer to work through the questions straight away. There are no trick questions in any of the tests, and all the answers are based on information in the units. You will obviously want to spend a lot more time on your test than we are during this demonstration. At the end of each test is a unit reflection, where you need to write a brief overview of the content of the unit and what you feel you have learnt from it. This isn't included here. Once you've clicked on an answer for each question, you should then click the red Submit Test button at the bottom. This will take you to the results for that test. As well as giving you the correct answer, you will also see advice on where in the unit you can see more information about the right answer, or a brief explanation of how your answer was incorrect. Scrolling to the bottom of the page, you'll see a graph with a summary of your results. This graph will be updated as you progress through the course, 
and will give you an overall score. You will need to score 75% or more overall to achieve a pass on the tests section of the course. Your overall score is also shown in a black box towards the top of your course control panel. Click the Units tab in the red bar at the top of the page. If you scroll down the page, you'll see that as you have submitted the test for Unit 1, Unit 2 is now available to you. We now go through the same process for Unit 2 and for all future units, reading and assimilating the content, taking the online test and moving on to the next unit as it becomes available. You will now see your overall score at the bottom of the page. Assuming that your overall score was 75% or more, clicking the next button above the results will take you to the final part of the course, the summative task. The summative task will conclude your course. Read the instructions carefully, as they will tell you what the summative task should consist of and provide you with a list of possible topics. You should work on your summative task offline in a word processor on your computer or device. Save it somewhere, then copy and paste it into the summative task form you see here when you've completed it. This way, if your internet connection drops at this stage, or there happens to be a technical problem, you won't lose anything. After a final review, click the Submit button at the bottom of the page. This will take you to a page where you should enter some personal details for your certificate. Give your name exactly as you would like it to appear on the certificate in the top box. You should then give your certificate preference in the next row. Next is your full mailing address for the certificate, including the country. This can be anywhere in the world. If the address you are providing is for a country that has its own alphabet or script, such as Korea or China, please send that to us via email. On completion of the course, your certificate will be sent out via registered post. This can take two to three weeks to arrive, so if you need to receive your certificate more quickly, you will see a DHL payment option on the following page after you click the Submit button. You should now have reached the confirmation page, and your summative task will have been sent to us. Do a quick check of your certificate name and the delivery address here, so that you can email us in case of a problem. Once the summative task has been reviewed and deemed satisfactory, your certificate will be printed and sent out to you via registered post. That's the course complete. There's nothing more you need to do at this stage unless you'd like to receive the certificate via DHL, in which case you would need to click one of the payment buttons here. You still have access to the course materials until your deadline, so this is probably a good time to download the units and videos if you haven't done so already. Please feel free to contact us via email should you have any questions about IEEE course procedures.